Hello everybody and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today I'm going to be doing for you a southern fried bream. I hope you're all going to enjoy this one. I'm going to show you the ingredients what we're going to be using for today. Right everyone, so I've got my bream which is just um, filleted and the bone part. So that's the bream what I'm going to be using for today. It's the red bream. I've got some chicken seasoning. The reason why I'm using chicken seasoning is because it's southern fried. I don't want to use the fish ones. Sometimes it's a bit um, salty. I've got some garlic powder, some black pepper, some onion powder, and a little bit of um, thyme. I've got an egg, and I've got my southern fry mix, which is breadcrumbs and seasonings and that which is for, to coat the the bream afterwards so that's my southern fry mix so that's the ingredients what we're going to be using for today so it's not going to be a long one so i'm just going to show you the what i'm going to be do, doing today and i'll be back with you in a minute right everybody so i've got my seasoning so i'm just going to shake these together so that they mix together and incorporate so I'm not using a lot of seasoning on this because our southern fried has got seasoning in it as well which is a coating so I'm just gonna give this a seasoning with this I want to put my hands in there but I'm going to have to just to get the so I'm just going to use that amount so you want to make sure that your fish is nicely coated right so i'm going to put this to one side so that's my fish nicely seasoned so i'm going to put that to one side for a bit i'm just going to wash off my hands and i'll be back with you in a minute right everybody so back i've got my egg so i'm just going to break that into a bowl just need something that you can put your bream in I'm just going to beat this, get it incorporated a bit. Meanwhile, I'm doing that, I've got my frying pan on the fire. I'm going to put it onto uh, medium heat. So I've got that on a medium heat. So I'm just going to incorporated and I've got my rest of um, bit there I'm gonna put my southern fry into that so I'm going to coat, coat the fish with so you just want to make sure that this is beaten in good I'm just use a, a, a fork. Right, so that should be about enough. So I'd like to say, if you're liking our videos, please remember to like, share and subscribe. And tell a friend to tell another friend. If you want to leave any comments, you can leave a comment in the comments section. And the more people we have subscribing to the channel is the more content that we can bring out. So I know it's everyone's just watching but you're not subscribing and that's what we need. We need the subscribers as well as the watch hours. And if you're 
want to make any contributions to the channel or you want to leave a tip or anything the tip jar is there for you to make use of we do appreciate everything that our subscribers are doing for our channel so please bear that in mind when you go onto the channel that everything's in place now right so i've got my bream make sure that this is nicely coated in the seasoning and i'm going to put this in our egg mix make sure that you get it all over so it can stain them in while your oil's eating up Sometimes this heat takes a while, so I'm just going to give it a bit more, can turn it down, down afterwards. So I'm just going to wait for that oil to eat up and then I'll be back with you in a minute. Right everybody, so we've got our oil near up to the temperature. So we're going to get our fish out. Let that drain off a bit. And we're going to put it into our breadcrumbs or our southern fry mix. You want to get a nice coating onto that. I'm just making sure that I've got this nicely coated bit more in there, so I'm just going to put a bit more on right, so that's the first bit so we've got our fish there I'm going to put that skin down first and salt oil. Then I'm going to do my other one. So I'm just going to get all the just getting all our egg wash onto it. egg wash that's deep down bit of southern fry mix Our fish now. Move this out the way. Usually, I want to use a bigger thing, but seeing that this is only like one fish, then I just thought I'd just use the one. And that's going on in our frying pan as well you want to fry these until when they're golden brown and then you flip them over so I'll be back with you in a minute right everybody so I'm gonna we've got them to a stage I'm gonna turn them over now So that's what you want to see, see when you turn them over, nice and golden brown. So like I'm saying you just need a medium, medium to high heat on these, as you know bream is pretty 
a thick fish, so you just want it to fry all the way through. And you don't want to be turning these, turning these, turning these. Because you don't want the coating to come off that way, you want them nice and golden brown. So I'm just going to leave these and let them get on when I'm ready to, to turn them again or take them out, then I'll be back with you in a minute. Right everybody, so we're back, this is how they're looking, nice and golden brown. I'm going to flip this one over so you can see what it looks like on the other side as well. That's what you're aiming for. Get that off the fire before it burns. I'm going to take these out now, I'm going to put them in our in my oven for a few minutes just to dry up, dry out a bit, get the oil. So I've got a tray with a, a bit of grease food paper. You can see that's nice and golden brown. I'm just going to take this out now. This is going into an oven just for a few minutes just to get some of the oil soaked out of it a bit. So I'm going to put this in an oven, then when I take it out and plate it up then I'll show you what it looks like on a plate. Right everybody, so I've had it in the oven just to get some of the oil out. So I'm going to take it out. That's how you want it, you just want it just to dry out a bit. So I'm just going to bring in the camera a bit more. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to plate this up and then I'm going to show you what it looks like on a plate. I'll be back with you in a minute. Right everybody, so this is what it looks like when it's plated up. This is our southern fried bream. I hope you all enjoy this one. If you did, please remember to like, share and subscribe and tell a friend to tell another friend. If you want to leave a comment, please leave a comment in the comment section. We do get back to you on them. And if there's anything that you want us to see us do in the near future, just let us know. And then we'll try and see if we can do it for you. And please remember to watch my other channel, which is DWW Gardening. If you want to see the things that I grow and then produce throughout the year for my cooking channel then you can watch that channel also. So thanks for watching and see you all on the next one. Thank you.